welcome to education admirers do not forget to hit the bell icon like comment and share good morning students welcome to our first class of geography and today we are going to study about topographical survey map so let us have a look on what is topographical survey map first point as i have written you can see it gives us magnified picture of a region or area of the earth now the main word of this point is magnified picture what magnified picture what is the work of a magnifying glass to see the object in bigger size to make it more clear by seeing in bigger size so same way topographical survey map shows us the detail of any area in more perfect way all the important features of that area in more perfect way the second point is it is a small scale map shows detailed depiction of both natural and man made features as you have studied in your class 6th in first chapter that it was indicated there are two types of map first is large scale map and the second one is small scale map what is large scale map let us revise what is large scale map large scale map is a map which is for a small area in detail means all the features are shown on that map and small scale area is for a large area and it shows only the important features what are important features over here man made and the natural features what will come under natural features like mountains rivers etc and what will come under man made features like buildings post offices and so on now the third point of this topic is different colors and symbols are used to show the features you know this point is also related to your this point that these features means natural features and man made features they are shown on the map with the help of certain signs and symbols and those signs and symbols are made or drawn with the help of different different colors to make it more clear so different different colors are used and what is the name what is the term used for those signs and symbols it is known as conventional signs and symbols conventional signs and symbol what is the definition of conventional signs and symbols conventional symbols are those symbols or conventional signs are those signs which is accepted all over throughout the world it will be same it is accepted internationally it does not mean that it will be different for different different types of map or it will be different for different different places whatever is the color whatever is the sign the feature what you indicate through them it will be same meaning will be same for all as you can see i have written the mean colors over here which you use in map and i have written over here you can see green yellow blue brown white black and red so i'll tell you the meaning what these colors indicate or depict on a map for example green color is used to show the cultivated sorry forested areas all the forested areas are shown with the help of green color yellow color is used to show cultivated lands all the cultivated lands with will, will be shown with the help of yellow color blue color it is very easy blue color is used to show water bodies brown color is used to show sand features now what is sand feature one example i'll tell you sand dunes which is found in desert white color is used to show or it depicts barren land means which cannot be cultivated black color is used to show dry streams 
boundaries like international boundary, national boundary, district boundary and so on. It is also used to show surveyed trees. Which color? Black color is also used to show surveyed trees. And red color is used to show human settlement. Like whether the settlement is a permanent settlement, whether that hut, permanent hut settlement is a permanent one or whether it is a temporary one. And as I have told, these colors or the signs are not written, means the meaning of that is not written in the map because the space available on the map is limited. So after indicating those signs and symbols on the map, at the bottom, if, uh, okay, I'll show you one map and I'll tell you. As you can see, I have one world map with me and here you can see the space is limited on the map. But the boxes over here, what is the purpose of these boxes? To color, means suppose you are showing forested area over here somewhere. So you will color the first box and you will write green color or green and here you will write forested areas. Yellow, agricultural land. Symbol of hut, permanent settlement. So and so on. You can make more and write over here. Whatever will be asked in your question. So I think it is clear now. We will revise the point once again. The main headings or the main highlighted points, main highlighted words of each point. So the first point is topographical map shows us magnified picture. It is a small scale map. It shows both natural and man-made features and it uses certain colors, signs and symbols which are known as conventional signs and symbols which acts as storehouses of information. Which acts as, again I repeat this word, storehouses of information and it is accepted inter nationally and the colors are this. I will repeat the points again. Green color for forested area, yellow color for cultivated land, blue for water bodies, brown for sand features like sand dunes, white color for barren land which cannot be cultivated, black color for boundaries, streams, dry streams, especially dry streams, surveyed trees and Red color for showing permanent and temporary settlements. That's all for today. Thank you.